Hey everybody, for today's video I'm going to be playing around with the Natasha Denona Glam Eyeshadow Palette. So this is actually my first Natasha Denona Palette. That's what it looks like here. Let me show y'all. Let me hold it like this so y'all can see it a little bit better. So this is actually my first Natasha Denona Palette and I've always said that I would never buy Natasha Denona because I just feel like the, the palettes are just way too expensive. But when I saw this, I just couldn't help myself because there are, I'm trying to get the light out of the way, there are are some shades in here that are not cool tones but I feel like for the most part this is basically like a cool tone palette let me show you guys like an up close this is basically like a cool tone palette so this is like right up my alley and I've just been eyeing this thing like crazy since it first came out so for today's video I'm gonna be doing two looks with this palette the first one is gonna be like a really simple more like an everyday look but just with a little like pop of shimmer in it and then the second look is gonna be the one that I'm wearing right now just a bit more glammed up and this is something a bit different for me because I usually don't do these types of eye looks so that's what we're going to get into today before we get started if this is your first time on my channel welcome my name is Sonia Nicole please make sure you stop what you're doing right now and subscribe to the channel I would really really appreciate it also click on my notification bell I do try to post new videos at least once a week and make sure you let me know in the comments when you do subscribe because I would love to meet y'all and I definitely want to say thank you for subscribing because like I said it would mean a great deal to me and you would be helping me grow my platform and I would really appreciate it. For those of you who are returning to the channel and you're already subscribed welcome back and thank you so much for coming back and as always thank you for your continued support. Okay you guys let's jump right into it. So we're going to be doing this look first and I already put my primer on. I used the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly so that's what this looks like just in case you're not familiar. So I do have that all over my lid. So I'm going to go right in with this shade here. So these shades they do have names for them but the names are more so like instructions I guess and some of them are repetitive like they have a couple. I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> They have a couple of repetitive names on here. So for instance, they have a couple that are labeled outer eyelid. So that's a bit different for me, but I'm going in with this shade here and I'm going to put that, I'm just gonna use that to kind of like set this lid primer. So I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna lightly tap that all over the primer now I don't even know if this is like really necessary or not but usually I put shimmers on my lid but I notice when I go in and set my primer if I'm using a matte shade on the lid it just seems to stick and blend a little bit better so that's why I always do that it may not be necessary but I just like to do it that way so next I'm gonna go in with the shade smoke and I am going to apply that to the majority of my lid. So I'm just packing it on, getting really close to my lash line. And then I like to take whatever lid color I'm using, I like to bring it up kind of high. And I know if you have like hooded lids or you know lids that are similar to mine, that you're really not supposed to go like above that fold, I guess, but. I like to take my shadow up kind of high because I just want it to be seen so I'm just gonna put like another layer on like the very bottom part of the mobile lid and then using the same brush I'm gonna go in with this shade here so this is just a darker matte brown shade and I'm gonna put some of that on the very outer corner of the lid and this is just gonna add just a little bit of dimension onto the look. I'm taking some of that same dark brown shade on another like a smaller blending brush and I'm just gonna blend it into this is the area of my lid that I call like my fake crease area. This is always where I kind of like try to create a crease. And speaking of crease, now I'm going in with this shade here. This is labeled as crease. I hope you guys can see that. Um, it's like a, almost like a beige, maybe like a matte, like taupey shade. And I'm gonna use that to buff out around that shade. Oh, I forgot to do my lower lash line. Okay, hold on one second. 
before I continue blending up here, I'm going to take the dark brown shade and I'm going to use that on the lower lash line. And I like to concentrate shades like just on the outer part of the lower lash line. I just prefer that look better on me as opposed to bringing it all across the lower lash line. Now I'm going back into buffing out around the edges. And I'm also gonna buff that shade, like that uh, beigey or taupey shade. I'm also gonna buff it underneath that dark brown shade. That'll just help me to further, I'm just gonna pinch the brushes a little bit. But this'll just help me to further blend this out and buff it so that it doesn't look like a harsh line down here. And it'll also help me connect this shadow to the eyeshadow on the top of the eye. And then I'm also taking the same brush and I'm just blending right over where I put the dark brown shade right on the, uh, the outer corner rather. I'm just blending over that just to make sure that it's blending in to the surrounding eyeshadow without any like harsh stops being anywhere. Then I'm gonna take this shade here and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. And then I'm gonna let it kinda sweep up into the lid a little bit. Now I'm switching over to this brush here. I chose this brush because the bristles are kinda like all over the place. This is a natural bristle brush, so it's just not quite as tapered as some of my other brushes. I'm gonna take that same shade, but I'm dipping it in this way so that the majority of the eyeshadow is on like the very tip of the bristles. And then I'm just going to plop them kinda like right on the inner part of the lid just to try and get this shade to be kind of like dispersed right up in this area. And then I'm just gonna blend right up in this area a little bit. This particular brush doesn't have any shadow, any um, eyeshadow on it. I'm just blending right here so that these two fuse into one another nicely. And then I'm gonna take some more of that same shade and put it right along the brow bone. I kind of concentrated it a bit too much like right up in here, but it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell if the two shadows on the inner corner, they look a little bit differently. So when I did this eye and I went in with this shade here, I thought it was just coming off just like a bit more on the golden side than I wanted. So I went over it with a little bit of this, but just on the inner corner. So I'm gonna do that now. And I felt like this kind of toned it down a little bit and just made it like a bit more like on the, silver side of it so that is basically the gist of the first look so I'm going to do my eyeliner and mascara and I'm gonna put some lipstick on off camera and then I'll show you what the completed look looks like with eye look number one Okay, so here is look number one, and on my lips I do have the Becca, this is called the Becca Ultimate Liquid, no, Ultimate Love Lipstick, I think. I'll have it in the description bar because this little sticker is so small, but it's one of the Becca lipsticks in the shade Souffle. So this is what I have on my lip. I decided to go with like a pinky nude because my eyes are quite like smoky, and this is um, actually more smoky than I was envisioning, but <laughs> I do still like it. So this is look number one. Let me know what y'all think we're gonna go into look number two okay so moving along to this look I'm gonna again start off with the Mac paint pot and painterly I'm starting off with this shade here and I'm gonna put that on the inner and outer corner of the lid I'm gonna start off with a brush but then I'm gonna go back on top of it with my finger I just need the brush to kind of like guide exactly where to put it first and I usually don't do these types of eye looks because they are a bit more difficult for me so you'll see that I'm gonna have to kind of go like back and forth a little bit with the placement especially of the the placement of the center shade when we get there but what I'm trying to do is look forward and place 
this color around on the right and the left side of my pupil. That's what I'm trying to do. And I'm also trying to leave a little bit on the very outer corner for another shade. Is this the pupil? I'm not even sure what it's called. <laughs> the brown part of my eye. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? All right, I'm gonna go back over that with my finger and I'm just dragging the shadow straight down and I'm trying to get it right up on the lash line as well. And then for the center shade, I'm using this first color here, but I'm gonna go right in with my finger for this shade. And I'm just dragging it straight down. Again, getting it really close to the lash line. And I'm going to let it slightly overlap the brown shimmery shade. Next, I'm going in with this dark brown shade. I'm gonna apply that to the very outer corner of the, of the upper lash line and the lower lash line. I don't know if you guys can hear that buzzing noise. I have no idea what that is, but it's coming from outside and my window is closed and I can still hear it. So without picking up any eyeshadow on this brush, I'm going to take some of that brown shade that I put on the outer corner and I'm just gonna kind of drag that in my, what I call like my fake crease area a little bit. I think I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more And now I'm picking up this shade here, that light brown shade, and I'm using the same brush. I just um, cleaned off that dark brown shade, and I'm gonna use this to buff everything out around the dark brown eyeshadow. I'm also going under the dark brown on the lower lash line to help buff that out just a little bit. And again, connect this eyeshadow with the eyeshadow up top. So on this eye, it's really hard for me to get eyeshadow like right here because when I look straight ahead, you can see that my skin is like really saggy right here. So I always notice that it looks like my eyeshadow skips right here. So I'm just gonna go back and apply a little bit more of that dark brown shade. And then I may have to go back and forth with this a little bit. I'm going to blend around that dark brown shade in all directions just to make sure that it's nice and buffed out. But when I do that, it may end up picking up too much of the eyeshadow off of that corner. So I may have to go back and apply some more. But this part of my eye is so difficult for me to work with because my lids are folded and I just have a lot of like, I guess, mobile skin right there. I'm taking this shade here. This is gonna be my inner corner shade and I am gonna let it blend up into the first shade on the lid a little bit. And then right on top of that inner corner shade, I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit of this shade here. I'm just gonna plop that right on top. It just brightens it up just a little bit and I think it helps tie into the shade that's on the center of the lid. Now speaking of the shade that's on the center, I'm gonna go back into that shade here and I am going to just make this a bit more pigmented but right on the lower part of my lid. And I feel like I covered up just a little bit more than I wanted to right here. So I'm just going back over here. I'm gonna drag it up just a little bit. Oh, can y'all see? I hope y'all saw what I was doing. <laughs> And then I'm gonna do just one more blend like right up in here. I just need to tone this down just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna take my sponge that I use for my foundation. I'm just gonna slightly clean up around the corner here. 
Okay, and I think we're good. So I'm going to do my liner, mascara, and lipstick off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so here is completed look number two. I did forget to tell y'all that the same shade that I put on the outer, on the inner corner rather, I also put that on the brow bone. So here is the finished look. And on my lips for this one, I have Cab Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Charming. So this is just kind of like a really nice like fuchsia type shade. This is something that I got from Charm a couple months ago and then the lipstick that I'm wearing is Maybelline's touchable taupe so that's what's on my lips I just decided to tone this lip down a little bit because there's just a little bit more going on on my eyes so I feel like I just said a couple minutes ago I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself but these types of eye looks I usually don't do them because it's really difficult for me to work with my eyes and eyeshadow is one of those areas where I still feel like I'm learning with each each video that I do. I don't have a whole lot of real estate up here to begin with and on top of that my lids are folded so I just have like a lot of um, like moving skin up here but I feel like I did a pretty good job with this look today. Um, it was kind of hard to place that center shade. I had to go back and forth just a little bit but for the most part I think I did okay so let me know what y'all think about look number two and let me just give y'all my thoughts on the palette. So generally speaking I do really like this. I can see myself using this quite a bit because I think it's going to be a very versatile palette for me. For those of you who are familiar with my channel, y'all know how I just love cool tone palettes. So that's why I was attracted to this in the first place. But there's a few shades in here that I feel like I can just pop on my lid and just go like this one over here. I feel like it could be like, um, well, y'all saw in the first look that I did, I could just throw that on my lid and just, you know, maybe add a pop of shimmer and call it a day. I see a couple of other like shimmery shades like this one down here um, these over here these are other ones that maybe I could just put on my inner corner without putting on any other eyeshadow and I can just go or I can do more like you know glammed up, glammed up looks like this so so far I am really liking this Natasha Denona palette so I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video today if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave today and I hope to see y'all back here for my next video until then take care have a good one y'all Bye.